In this lecture, we'll unravel the life of Marcus Aurelius, revealing how a Roman emperor epitomized Stoic philosophy, shaping his reign and echoing through time. To understand Marcus Aurelius and why he is hailed as the Stoic emperor, we dive into the affirmation of his reign from 161 to 180 AD, marked by unprecedented challenges including wars and the Antonine Plague. His philosophical work, Meditations, emerges not merely as a collection of personal reflections, but as a testament to Stoicism applied amidst adversity. This work highlights virtues through reason, portraying rationality as the path to virtue. It underscores the acceptance of fate, advocating for composure in the face of uncontrollable life events, and it venerates living in accordance with nature, encouraging harmony with the existing natural order. Aurelius's leadership during the plague illustrates a stoic response to crisis, focusing on rational and measured actions. What renders his legacy potent even today is not just his philosophical insights, but their application under the pressures of governance. His wisdom transcends his era, offering a template for leadership steeped in rationality, ethics, and the stoic embrace of life's unpredictability. Aurelius's life thus stands as a compelling narrative of philosophy in action, demonstrating the enduring relevance of Stoic principles in guiding leadership amidst the vicissitudes of life. The key to understanding Marcus Aurelius's leadership lies in Stoicism, particularly how courage, wisdom, justice, and temperance defined his reign. Born into aristocracy and educated by luminaries, Aurelius was steeped in Stoic virtues from an early age. This philosophical foundation, deeply influenced by his mentor Apollonius, prepared him for the trials ahead. As emperor, these virtues were not just personal ethics, but principles that guided his governance. When the Antonine Plague swept through the empire, Aurelius's stoic resolve was evident. His measures to control the outbreak and support the afflicted underscored a commitment to the common welfare, mirroring stoic ideals of duty and rational action. Moreover, his legislative reforms reflected a profound commitment to societal betterment. By improving conditions for slaves and enhancing social welfare, Aurelius put stoic justice and temperance into practice, seeking a more equitable society. These actions encapsulate the essence of stoic leadership, a blend of philosophical wisdom and pragmatic governance, demonstrating how Marcus Aurelius harnessed stoicism's power not only to endure but to lead with integrity and foresight. The key to Marcus Aurelius's enduring legacy lies in his practical application of Stoicism, particularly evident through the virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. Wisdom, for Aurelius, was not simply an accumulation of knowledge, but a guiding light for making decisions rooted in reason, as seen in his strategic handling of the Antonine Plague. This emphasis on rational judgment underpinned his leadership setting a precedent for governance driven by insight rather than impulse. Courage in Aurelius's realm was manifested through resilience in the face of adversity. The meditations offer a glimpse into his philosophical resilience, viewing challenges not as barriers but as avenues for personal growth and virtue. His reflections during the plague highlight a courageous acceptance of harsh realities, demonstrating a remarkable alignment of personal resilience with public duty. Justice and temperance were not abstract concepts, but concrete actions reflected in Aurelius's reforms aimed at improving societal welfare and promoting a harmonious social order. His efforts to ensure fairness, particularly in the treatment of slaves, and his pursuit of moderation, avoiding the excesses typical of his rank, exemplify these virtues in action. By adopting Amor Fati, Aurelius embraced every event, including suffering, as part of the natural order. Simultaneously, the dichotomy of control teaches a focus on controllable actions over external outcomes, a principle encapsulating both acceptance and proactive engagement with life's uncertainties. Through these stoic ideals, Aurelius's life and works serve as a timeless guide to leadership and personal development in the face of life's unpredictability. The embodiment of Stoicism by Marcus Aurelius wasn't solely a personal venture it significantly molded his governance. His leadership saw the application of Stoic virtues, notably justice, which underpinned legal reforms allowing slaves the capacity to seek justice. This progressive step not only broadened the legal framework, but signified a notable shift towards recognizing inherent dignity across social statuses. 
Moreover, the stoic virtues of courage and temperance were manifested in his support for society's most vulnerable, like orphans and widows, mirroring the philosophy's emphasis on communal duty and the well-being of all members of society. A key moment of Aurelius's rule was overcoming opposition from elite groups, which initially resisted these reforms due to threats to their traditional power bases. The success in implementing such significant changes underscores the stoic resolve in facing societal challenges with a steadfast commitment to principle. These actions, deeply rooted in stoicism, emphasized a governance approach that was not just about laws and edicts, but about nurturing a society that valued justice, compassion, and equity. Through this, Marcus Aurelius showcased the profound impact Stoic philosophy can have on governance, demonstrating its timeless relevance in addressing societal needs and advancing justice. Marcus Aurelius, through his Stoic philosophy, saw leadership as an opportunity to manifest virtues in governance, significantly altering the societal fabric of Rome. Among his noteworthy reforms, the enactment of slave autonomy laws stands out. By granting slaves the capacity to bring forth grievances and seek redress, Aurelius diverged from the prevailing norms of his time, challenging centuries of entrenched social structures. These laws did not merely improve conditions for slaves. They signaled a broader societal shift towards justice and equality, echoing Stoic principles of fairness and common humanity. During the Antonine Plague, Aurelius's personal sacrifices were emblematic of his commitment to duty and public service. Redirecting imperial resources towards plague relief, he exemplified the Stoic ideal of living for the welfare of others. His actions during this period, remaining in Rome, close to the epicenter of the outbreak, and personally overseeing administrative measures, underscored a leadership style rooted in compassion and pragmatic action. These instances were not just acts of governance, but a vivid demonstration of Stoic philosophy in action, where Aurelius's beliefs in duty, resilience, and the value of public service were lived realities, marking his reign with a legacy of enlightened leadership that resonates through history. The Marcomannic Wars tested the Roman Empire's limits, marking a critical moment that demanded extraordinary leadership for Marcus Aurelius. Faced with the colossal challenge of continuous battles draining the empire's resources and spirit, Aurelius's response was both unexpected and exemplary. His decision to liquidate personal assets for the war effort is a stark demonstration of stoicism in practice, where personal sacrifice for the greater good reflects the embodiment of duty and virtue. This strategic choice was not simply about resource allocation, it was a message of resilience and commitment from the emperor to his people, solidifying the trust and morale necessary for enduring such tumultuous times. Aurelius's leadership during the Marcomannic Wars, grounded in Stoic philosophy, showcases a direct application of ethics to governance, particularly in times of crisis. His actions illustrate how Stoicism offered not just personal solace, but a pragmatic framework for decisive and ethical leadership. Through this, Marcus Aurelius not only navigated the empire through a grave crisis, but also cemented his legacy as a Stoic emperor, whose philosophies directly influenced military strategy and the well-being of the Roman state. Marcus Aurelius's life illuminates Stoicism, not as mere theory, but as a lived philosophy, profoundly shaping his approach to family and rule. His commitment to imbuing his children with Stoic virtues, focusing on ethical education, demonstrates his belief in virtue as foundational. Even in facing his children's demise, Aurelius embodied stoic resilience, accepting these tragic ebb and flows as part of life's natural order. This wasn't passive resignation, but a testament to his profound grasp of stoicism, emphasizing control over one's response to the inevitable. His marriage, too, was steered by stoic principles, emphasizing duty and affection within the bounds of rational emotional expression showcasing how Stoicism influenced not just public but intimate aspects of his life. Aurelius's reign, guided by Stoicism, mirrored this personal ethos, perceived in his equitable policies and his handling of adversities, including Cassius's rebellion, with forgiveness rather than retaliation. Such actions reflected Aurelius's in-depth commitment to Stoic virtues of wisdom, fairness, and resilience underlining that his philosophical convictions were not sidelined in times of challenge, 
but were precisely what fortified his leadership and personal life, cementing his legacy as the Stoic Emperor. Marcus Aurelius's leadership redefined the confluence of philosophy and pragmatic governance during crises, particularly highlighted by his sale of palace items to fund war efforts against the Marcomannic Wars. This move not only epitomized the Stoic principle of detachment from material wealth, but also served a crucial tactical advantage. It signaled resilience and shared sacrifice, vital in bolstering the morale of the Roman people and army at a time when external threats threatened the empire's stability. Furthermore, Aurelius's initiation of public health measures in response to the Antonine Plague underscored his foresight and dedication to the common welfare, predating modern public health strategies. While the plague ravaged the Roman Empire, his decision to implement quarantine measures and provide financial assistance to those affected showcased an unparalleled application of Stoicism's wisdom and justice virtues. By prioritizing the well-being of his citizens, over traditional responses to disease outbreaks, Aurelius not only mitigated the impact of the plague, but also left a lasting legacy on the importance of compassionate leadership and the state's role in managing public health crises. A key aspect where Marcus Aurelius's stoicism intersects with modern practices is in cognitive behavioral therapy. CBT, a cornerstone in psychological treatment today, utilizes cognitive restructuring techniques rooted in the teachings of Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher profoundly influential to Aurelius. By understanding thoughts and emotional responses as within our control, CBT reflects Stoic values, emphasizing the power of personal agency in overcoming adversities. This linkage not only highlights the relevancy of Stoicism in addressing contemporary mental health challenges, but also perpetuates Aurelius's legacy in fostering resilience through reasoned thought. Another dimension of Aurelius's enduring influence is observed in the realm of leadership. Today's executives often turn to meditations for ethical guidance and insights into effective governance. The text's rich contemplations on virtue, duty, and the nature of human relationships offer timeless wisdom for navigating the complexities of leadership in the modern world. By incorporating Stoic principles into corporate governance and decision-making, Leaders find a robust framework for approaching challenges with integrity and foresight. This application of Aurelius's thoughts underscores the adaptability and universal appeal of Stoic philosophy, cementing its relevance across centuries and industries. Stoicism, particularly through Marcus Aurelius's example, demonstrates profound relevance in leadership and personal development today. The Stoic virtues of wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance form a blueprint for modern leadership, highlighting ethical guidance and balance in crisis management. Aurelius's life during the Antonine Plague showcases the Stoic principle of focusing on what can be controlled. His efforts to maintain morale and organize relief underscore a leadership style deeply rooted in the philosophy of control over controllables. This historical instance of managing a health crisis with foresight and compassion offers a valuable lesson for today's leaders faced with unprecedented challenges. Aurelius's application of wisdom and temperance, ensuring sound decision-making and moderation even in times of adversity, mirrors the requirements of contemporary leadership. By drawing from Aurelius's example, current leaders can navigate turbulent times with a balanced and ethical approach. This alignment of ancient virtues with modern practices underscores the timeless nature of Stoic principles, providing a robust framework for leadership and personal resilience in the face of complexity and change. Marcus Aurelius's life and Stoicism not only enrich our understanding of philosophical leadership, but also provide actionable insights for navigating contemporary challenges. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor, faced the monumental challenge of the Antonine Plague with a distinctive Stoic resolve. His leadership during this catastrophic event is a telling example of Stoicism applied under duress. Initiating unprecedented public health measures and financial assistance for those struck by the plague, Aurelius showcased the Stoic virtues of wisdom and justice in action. Opting for the welfare of the Roman people above personal comfort or political gain, his decisions underscore the practical application of his Stoic philosophy, prioritizing the common good with a clear, 
rational approach to crisis management. Parallelly, Aurelius's meditations offer profound reflections on personal ethics, stoic beliefs, and the impermanence of life. Not merely a historical artifact, this work serves as a beacon of timeless wisdom, illuminating the path for modern leadership and personal development. Through his introspections, Aurelius advances the significance of self-discipline, the prioritization of collective well-being, and the acceptance of life's fleeting nature. This insight not only deepens our understanding of his stoic commitment during times of adversity, but also enriches contemporary dialogues on ethical governance and resilience in the face of challenges, demonstrating Stoicism's enduring legacy in navigating the complexities of human existence.